Hey, so in this video I wanted to show you um, this Git project that I found. Uh, I want to do a couple of videos like this. I want to just like go out and find some Git projects, uh, GitHub projects, and uh, show them off in some videos, kind of like a GitHub spotlight. That way it'll help me, uh, you know, find new software to play around with and look at source code and see how things are built uh, to help me with my programming and scripting. But the GitHub project I wanted to show off today is DHCPwn. Uh, I've been, I played around with it for a little bit. I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, so what it's pretty much going to be doing is sending out uh, as many DHCP requests as you want. The whole purpose of it is to fill up the the table or the the um, the either amount of RAMs. So like if it's like a Cisco switch, the um, the CAM table. Um, to fill up the switch, some routers, depending on what it is, they'll you know they'll turn into a hub or they'll crash. So I'm going to show you how to get and um, uh, well, we're not going to install it. We're just going to get it and then play around with the software. To get it, you're going to need Git, and uh, you just need to sudo app git install git if you don't already have it. Uh, already have it. You're also going to need to sudo app git install uh, python 3-pip I already have it um, that should be it you're gonna need python 3 of course if you do the python 3 pip it'll install python 3 as well that is a re uh, requirement uh, for pip uh, because you're gonna be using pip 3 so we're gonna get this project git clone paste that uh, git repository in there, it's going to pull it down. Um, we're going to cd into that directory. Uh, and we're going to, you're going to need to do a sudo, well you probably don't need sudo, pip3 uh, install dash r. Uh, there's a requirements.txt file in here. We're just going to type in requirements.txt or just type in req and press tab and it'll auto complete it. And that's going to go out and install Scapy um, that you need. I already have it installed. If it gives you any errors or permission errors, just go ahead and type sudo bang bang or just press up and then type sudo in front of it to install it with uh, root permissions. Probably don't need that. I didn't need it. Um, we're going to DHCP. Uh, go ahead and uh, dot forward slash and then dhcpone dot py. It's got the uh, shebang forward slash, uh, I think it's user bin, Python. It's explicitly telling Bash that it needs Python 3, so you don't need to type Python in front of it. Um, and it's looking for arguments, and you're also going to need root because you, I mean, you're going to need network access. You're going to be forging packets and sending them out. So, I mean, you're going to need root to do that. Uh, we're gonna get the DHCP server. You can click on this uh, this icon up here for your network connections to get connection information. Um, my DHCP server is handed out by my router. Um, so I, well, I don't need to copy and paste this. Um, so we can close that down. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna sudo DHCPwn. Uh, all the information is right here on this GitHub page. Um, installation, and you're gonna be we're gonna be doing this. We're not gonna be using wireless LAN zero because this isn't a wireless interface. Um, if you do an IF config, open up a new window, do an IF config, find the uh, network that you want to do this on, and ETH zero is what I'm gonna be doing this on. And I, I just want to stress, don't do this on you know like some business or school network because all you're gonna do is end up getting yourself in trouble. Um, there's laws that you know they will use you as an example. <laughs> I, I was gonna say I have a, a friend at Comcast where you know he got a call um, about at a school where uh, they kept getting DDoS. And so they called him in. Uh, if you're using the wireless, they can. They had you know a bunch of wireless access points, and they were Cisco switch, uh, access points. And with that, they can triangulate your wireless device um, because they had enough wireless access points in there. Or they can use a uh, I forgot what it's called. 
it's, it's a, like a little fluke device that he has and he can uh, just walk around the building and it just goes off like beep 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 um, the closer he gets to the, uh, the laptop or whatever device that they're using to do the DDoS, um, cause he can see the packets, uh, going, you know, going across the network. And so, you know, don't, they used him as an example. He got arrested. It's not something that you want to do. So, I mean, do this on your own network. Don't do this on somebody else's or you're just going to really mess yourself up. Uh, but sudo dot forward slash, uh, DHC pone. And we're going to be doing a flood, but we're going to do it on interface E0. And we're going to do flood. And count is how many you want to send out. We're going to send 256. We're going to fill up the, uh, the, um, the uh, we're going to hit the router's limit of IP address that it can hand out. I'm not exactly sure how that router is set up. Um, so I can't say for sure that it's a cam table or something like that, but we're going to continuously ping the router and we can also access it via the HTTP interface. We're going to send out our requests. If we disconnect and then Oh, I need to connect my cable again. Enable networking. Then I have config. We are not getting an IP address anymore. Go DH clients ETH zero. All right, so it let me connect to the interface again uh, because I already had an IP address. So the last time I did this, I did this over wireless and it wouldn't let me access the web interface, but I'm guessing that was probably because I got kicked off the wireless. Uh, so I thought, you know, if I did it again this time, it would not let me access the web interface, but now it's not giving me an IP address. Uh, I'm going to go and restart the router. Okay, so I restarted the router, and I'm just going to let this window sit here until it eventually grabs an IP address from the router. We're getting ping response from the router. Go up to our connections information. We have an IP address again. Oh, okay, the window just didn't refresh. All right, so that's all you really have to do. Uh, you just won't be able to have any new clients connect to the wireless network or the network at all if uh, your Comcast router is the only device that's uh, handing out IP addresses. But that was just a quick little, um, I just wanted to show off that GitHub project. I want to do some more. YouTube videos like this where I go around and find, you know, some GitHub uh, projects and show it off to people. Um, and maybe, uh, you know, there's an option to set up and install it, but we were just running it. Um, but maybe I'll just, some of the GitHub projects, uh, look through the source code. And as long as there's not a ton of source code, um, just explain what it is it's doing. And I see my connection isn't working right now
I'll have to troubleshoot that. But as you can see, this does some damage. So, you know, you should you probably shouldn't do this on a network that isn't yours. But uh, thanks for watching and uh, try out the project and see what you think.